This week, we take the final step in installing the Suzuki engine from the wrecked vehicle we hauled from up north. She discovers homemade hair products online, which leads to making new shower caddies for the outdoor shower. And mom repurposes some fan light covers. The plan is to finish the car. We'd really like to get the Suzuki's engine in this week. We're hooking up stuff to it. I think I'll probably just spot weld it. We'll probably brush it and then I'll just weld it. Yeah, okay, we don't need to mess with this exhaust now anyway. Yeah, let's lay the engine in. And more of my philosophy on buying cars is to get something that's inexpensive, you don't pay a lot of money for because around where we live, it's not good for the car because there's so much dirt road that we drive on. So if we buy a new vehicle, that new car feeling lasts about 10 seconds, you know, <laughs> on our road. Everyone has a different philosophy when they buy cars. And some people buy cars new, some people like to buy cars just immediately after they come off the lot they might have just a few thousand miles on it and then there's the people who like to buy cars when they're about 60,000 miles and we are the type of people who are like the third type of buyer who buys the vehicles when they're about a hundred thousand miles people feel like when they get a hundred thousand miles on a car it's pretty much a used up car and so they're accepting of a lot less money and cars today we have found that they go typically 200,000 miles so we like to buy them at that price point and then we know that we're gonna just use them until they just kind of go dead we get an extra hundred thousand out of it before anything major happens to it. So. You're underneath it. Very overwhelming. There's a whole lot of stuff going on. There. So it's just a matter of finding all the places to hook back up, huh? Yep. You have to fan motor back on and get the hose back on, some other things in the front. I'll take care of this front end. Bryson will do the back end and manifold section, which he tore apart, so I'm, you'll probably know how that goes back together. I'll check back in a little later and see what you guys are doing, okay? All right. Excellent. Thank you. Some homemade shampoos and a homemade conditioner. You can make shampoo with baking soda. It's one tablespoon baking soda, one cup water. Or you can make shampoo with honey, which is just from our bees. One tablespoon honey and a cup of water. I know honey is sticky, but once you rinse it out, it's not sticky anymore. I'm gonna try both of those and tell you which one I like best. Alternatively, you could drink this. The other thing I wanted to try and make was conditioner. Two tablespoons coconut oil, one tablespoon of sunflower seed oil or olive oil, a little bit mint. There's never enough scent. Mix it all together. It smells really good. If it's good, we'll make more. After I made the soaps, when I went into the shower, I didn't have any place to put them. And we have this stupid shower rack in there that's like metal and tipsy turbies. Like I didn't want to put glass up there. And so I was like, ah, it'll take me five minutes. Let me just go make a shower caddy. It's really interesting when you're around people who know how to do something, like my dad who's been working with wood forever. And even if you're not doing it physically, I'm always surprised that when I go to make things out of wood, I know how to do it. I know which tools, I know where to mark it and how it works. I just don't know when I learned. Can you give us an update, Ben? Uh, I put that thing in. It took me about 20 minutes. <laughs> Are you making fun of Ben? Are you I making... didn't say anything mean. <laughs> really, I didn't. Yeah, this doohickey, I'm gonna that doohickey, put the other doohickey back. Gotcha! Okay. I've diagnosed that this car needs bolts. The drawback of buying a used car is that more things go wrong, mm -hmm. and they do occasionally go wrong, and we would just take it to the mechanic. Then YouTube came along. Oh yeah. And then kids <clears throat> came along, and between the combo, everyone started to learn how to fix cars. It gives us an opportunity for the kids or myself or something to learn something new on a car. You know, Garen, his whole thing was rebuilding engines and things like that, so. We've been able to even take them a step further. Normally, we'd be just using them up and then just practically giving them away. But now, it seems like we just keep going. <laughs> yeah, how long can we actually make it last? I think the Suzuki of course is over maybe 220,000 miles and mm -hmm. now it's got the new engine in it. Oh guys, it's looking good. Nuts and bolts are just gonna start rattling around and falling out the bottom of the car. We lost two of them, but luckily we had another car so we just went and grabbed the ones we needed. We still have interior work to do, but we got all, this, all the bottom stuff done, which is important. Manifolds, which we're gonna have to put on, I have to weld and fix one of them. And then we have the whole back end right here of the engine. Yeah, ooh. So we got all that done. That's yeah. basically it. They're finishing up the front pretty much right now. Well, 
the guys have all the lights already installed in the kitchen and then we've got the fan light and the fan light doesn't really match with the rest of the decor but I love having a fan in I really don't want to buy a new one we came up with this idea to get the same metal light covers it's already set up we just need to cut this a little bigger so we can fit around the porcelain so what are you doing here Gary taking out there's a little uh, flange piece right here oh. nice Bryson and Gary worked on that and then they were able to get those installed up there. So now the fan light ties in better with all the other lights. And I got an idea for these. It's so adorable. I got my homemade soaps on it too. I did not know it was in those bottles, but it's soap. <laughs> no, okay, let's bring it in. We're gonna paint it. Hey. So the theme is frogs and turtles. So we're gonna get some turtles. Apparently I'm painting, and apparently Prepare I'm yourself. making another one. Cartoon turtle. So you're looking up cartoon turtles to basically turtles. copy on there. To co copy, ooh, that's that's a hot that top button word. You have to say reference, mom. Oh. It's way, it's way better. Copy. Oh, okay. <laughs> there is always great controversy about whether or not to use references. References are such a huge part of artwork. There's just not that much coming out of your head. You gotta base it on something. You're gonna trace it. I'm oh, oh, now you've done it. Now you've done it. Oh no. I'm gonna pretend not to be so afraid to, to do this and uh, give you my very confident plan. That is to put a turtle-like-ish that one and put it big on the back here. Okay. Nice little cute turtle and maybe a couple of rocks. I think we just need more shelving units. Like that one's just so small. I put all my stuff on it and suddenly it's full. I have to ask if you wanted a short long one or if you wanted another one that's very similar in size or if you wanted both. Well, let's see. Let's go with a different size then. Okay, if I'm not burnt out, I'll make you a third one and we can put it somewhere else. Okay. Like in front of the door for, I don't know, mail. <gasps> <laughs> I love it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll be back. We have another one. Another pocket pug. Even though he's not looking very puggy. He has hope though because his tail is getting more curly. You look like a labadoodle with some wrinkles. This is not a pocket pug. It's a two-headed dog man. Oh, he's going to go to sleep. He's going to go to sleep, man. Let us all guess how big we think Ollie's gonna get. And by big, I mean tall. I'm guessing between the height of Chip and Luna. He's gonna get bigger than Chip. I was gonna say that too, but just to be contradictory, I'm gonna say he's gonna be the same size as Luna. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I was thinking similar to what you were thinking between Chip and Luna, but I'm thinking like halfway mark, like the exact half. And I'm definitely going for between Luna and Bullet. I think really? Yep, oh. I think he's gonna be bigger. Yeah. All right. Oh. Okay. Okay, Dad, what about you? Okay, full grown, right? I'm no, saying... no, just half grown. <laughs> just half. Just, it just well, stops when you're right, and then yeah. it keeps going. That's and exactly that it. <laughs> I guess it'll be whatever it is when I say when he gets yeah. there. <laughs> okay, so I'm, no, I'm thinking one half inch taller than Chip. He probably is gonna be like an inch shorter than Luna. If you would like to join in on the guesses of how tall you think Ollie would be, please post in the comments. We love to see you getting in on the size action over here. <laughs> I just hope he's big enough to cuddle, because right now there's not yeah. a whole lot there. <laughs> <laughs> don't like using measuring tape. I just kind of eyeball it. I use my main baseboard to measure all of my other pieces. What I did is I laid a board that was longer than it over it and then I just mark it. That's why I want to cut it. Joop! That's the way my brain works. So if you hate tape measures, you don't need it. I don't know how your dad would feel about this. It is. I love it. He loves it. Are you guys all still standing over here? Better than I ever did. <laughs> the rebuild stuff, you know, finding a new motor that's got less and it actually helps. Yeah, so just is. replacing that. A rule of thumb is to pay $1,000 a year. If we pay $5,000 for a car, we're hoping to get five years out of that car. Mm -hmm. The Suzuki, when we bought it, was $2,500. We only wanted to get a couple years out of it and we got that. Okay. We're done. 
How's it going, Dry? Uh, good. Almost got it? We're getting closer. It's a process. We're slowly getting it, though. It's too much or not. I did the little turtle guy up here. Got the turtly awesome text and then a little underwater scene with more of a, a land turtle. I don't know what the technical term is, but we'd have these out here. And then we got a little some sea turtles going on in there, little water ones with the little flippers. But those will just be like uh, silhouettes. Seems like a kindergartner might have drawn him. And if anybody asks, that's what we'll tell them. Bree's been doing art for a lot of years and it really does show. Even though she practices in digital, all of the techniques still come through when she tries to do traditional work or painting. So that's really fun to see, fun to see what she does with her shadows and shapes. I really should get a new drill bit. Yeah. Whoa. Right under the floor. That's right. I brought my dirty project inside and then just right onto the floor. And we have two beautiful shelves. They look a little different from each other, but that's okay. And I'm off to Brie or possibly help her. Gotta figure out what she's doing. So what are we gonna do for a saying, Brie? Frog-tastic, I think is the plan. I tried to mimic that a little bit with my frog. Try to make it more cartoony than I usually would. <laughs> Are you being tired? Are you being tired? Hola. So we're almost done. The only thing that's left is the fluids. But we figured while we were putting the interior back together that we would vacuum it for oh, you. Thank you. So everything's been oh, I love it. Thank you. The last step before this guy's ready to go. Goes up either nose and you just squeeze. <laughs> this stuff goes under. Is this the stuff you have to fill from underneath the car? Yes. Well, have fun. You do that. Thanks, Ben. So I wonder why they wouldn't make a way to fill this up from the top. Well, this will probably be the only time you ever fill this thing. Mm -hmm. fill the life of this car, pretty much. Probably the most important thing for me when it comes to a vehicle. If you buy a brand new vehicle, I would be extra worried about a scratch or a dent or a kid spilling something inside of it. Or french fries in the seat. And yeah, or pop in the holder, holder yeah. you know, all that uh, kind of stuff. I don't have to cringe at every little dent and every little ding. All right, man, let's get the hood. Hood, hood, hood. Okay. Hey. Phenomenal. Started, and that is amazing. It is. <laughs> let's take it off the stand so we yeah. can. We had a little bit of this two-part epoxy that we used on the counter in the bathroom left over. So we are going to put this on here. Since it's kind of a plastic, I don't know how great it will do, but it won't get a lot of sun. And what we can do in the winter time is pull all these in. It'll definitely protect the wood from getting water from the shower and that kind of stuff. So now we have two magical shower caddies. We have a frog and a turtle one. And they will go in there and they will carry things. And I'm sure they'll be way, way more sturdy than the rickety rick up there that is currently balancing and hopefully all of our cuter. Stuff. <laughs> and cuter, yes. It definitely will have gone up a few notches now. Cause oh boy. We are ready to take it for a test drive. Hey, That's let's... how cool we are. So the Suzuki is fixed. Unbelievable. Yay! Unbelievable. I'm yeah. so excited to get driving that again. And <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. It sounds beautiful. It just oh, hums. Yeah. yeah, baby. It works. Bree and I came up with a system that works well for making these into solar lights. So we have the wire go around the light bulb with that little wire, and then we put this on, squish it in, so that's in there nice and tight, and then we come around with little twisties that twist around, and then come over here, and that holds th these in place so that these don't slide. And then we're gonna slide them up through there so the sun can still hopefully hit that, but I think that will work, and we'll have four little solar lights outside. Hooked them together and we hung them with a rope across. So those little solar lights are about 97 cents a piece, so I get them every year to go around the shower and they usually last a year sometimes two years and then I have to go and get new ones oh with the ropes that is adorable there is a fourth one but I must have bought a bum solar light oh. <laughs> he's not working hey mom here's your key Woo! thank you <laughs> you're running <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> oh those lights look awesome Why I love that So we tested out the soaps on our hair. I tested the honey one and the conditioner one and she tested the baking soda. So Brie, how did that go? First off, I would like to say, I don't know what I was expecting. Putting baking soda and water in your hair, just something weird about that, frankly. But I did it, and actually I gotta say, it, it was it worked out pretty good. I, my hair feels clean, and it feels soft. I, I'd do it again. Brie had more success than I. So the honey didn't seem to really do anything when I used it. It still kind of felt like it wasn't good. And then I kind of think I picked out a recipe for deep conditioning. And when I use the conditioner, which is oils and stuff, because it has not come out and it looks so greasy. Like I haven't showered in a week. Probably after I wash it, it'll be like glorious. Oh, yeah. It'll have a shine. It'll have a shine. <laughs> We're excited to get started back on the kitchen now that the Suzuki is back up and driving. Stay tuned for future progress on that, hopefully soon. The t-shirt design of the week is this one here, our dog pack in silhouette form. If you'd like to get this design or any of our past designs that we've done, please check out the, our shop link down in the description. We have aprons, t-shirts, sweatshirts, buttons, all kinds of fun goodies over there in the shop if you're interested and you'd like to check it out. If you want to also get in on the guessing of how big you think Ollie will be getting, please comment down in the comments below. Thanks so much for being a part of our family and we'll see you next Friday. Bye. Yep, it's honey. So Brie jumped in to save the day for the art. turtle. You made and, it. and some text and a sea and an ocean and more turtles. Proud. I contributed. It's You're really tilted. Does There's that no matter? Space for no. It's like and scooch. And I think it's he's gonna be bigger guess, than what he is. He's now. gonna be in between the floor and the ceiling. Yeah. Whoa! Yes. As oh. big as okay. a house this, is yeah. too much. This, this no, way, Clifford size. That might be a little Godzilla ish. I Godzilla. want Clifford it's be size Godzilla Ollie. Ollie. Uh, Ollie the Godzilla. Godzilla. The Ollie. <laughs> Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. I have diagnosed this car is nuts. This man lost a few bolts. Which one are you guys going to commit to? I did one. I was going to be the same as everyone because he's obviously going to be between Chip and Luna, but I'd rather be wrong and different than right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get it? You kind of put your hand on him and he just. There's Wait, too much mouth. Oh, yeah, he's right there. The mouth body ratio, you know. <laughs>